Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is Fighting Spirit Mania, game two of set three between Dwalt and Bonneth. I was very convinced by Dwalt's strong, well, first of all, really good defensive play, and then immediate follow-up of uh, aggression, honestly, in Bonneth's face. And I think Bonneth more accustomed, speaking of which, upper right-hand corner, we got Bonneth as the red Protoss, bottom left-hand corner, we got Dwalt starting as the yellow Protoss. It was really solid is I guess what I want to say. It was very convincing aggression and it's crazy because like in that scenario it's how do I put this? It's like a winning scenario. It's a like I'm, I'm having trouble articulating today. Go figure. But I'm going to articulate it this way. They're oftentimes in build orders very narrow win conditions and some of them like in your you're hoping for the best space in your build order to, to execute that win condition right? That was a pretty narrow win condition for Dewalt. Like it exists, but it wasn't gigantic. But Dewalt, if you can think about it like kind of like a closing, like an Indiana Jones style, like the vault is closing down and you gotta like get underneath it or like wedge something in there. He 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 wedged a rock in there and then just put his hands underneath it and I got that door up, is the metaphor I'm gonna throw out there. And it was impressive. It was it was well executed, is what I'm trying to say. He recognized his position, he executed well. And then was able to push it all the way to victory. It wasn't, I'm gonna say, 100% flawless, but it was pretty good. It was, it looked high caliber. That's like honestly moving towards StarCraft Pro level. So I'm kind of excited for him. And this, keep in mind, was played quite a while ago. Meantime, we have a scout. Same time, it is cross position between Bonneth and Dewalt. Dewalt's going to scout bottom right-hand corner. Bonneth is as well. I'm curious if when they... See, here's the thing that's an interesting side game of cross-scouting is if your opponent knows you cross-scout and they and you know that they cross-scout, here's the thing. So Dewalt sees this probe coming out, right? As soon as he peeks in, if he knows that Bonneth is just a guy that cycles around the map, his next move should definitely be, we're going to go to the top, right? That's, where, that's clearly where he is. Same thing with Bonneth. But look what Bonneth did. Bonneth is like, I know DeWalt sometimes cross scouts. So rather than going to the bottom left, he's kind of playing it, okay, he, he's going for the standard, uh, what is the most disadvantageous sort of thing. So he's like, let me see the close corners and then let me check the long corners, if that makes any sense. Which is kind of the standard Protoss scouting pattern. So DeWalt is not going to be able to see, it's not still not going to pay out because there's a blocking zealot. But I just want to point out, oh, never mind, DeWalt able to get in he's at least i think he saw the cybernetics core and saw the gateway which isn't a massive amount but it is something he's going to be down a worker as a result but that information is significant i don't think he got an eye on whether range was started or not though range was initially started from bonneth and then cancelled it looks like he's going to tack on a robotics facility himself we also have a robo opposite side from dewalt before range by the way and so i'm wondering if both guys are once again going to have potentially mirrored build orders, the Dragoon's uh, swapping. Bonneth actually recognizing he's got last scout, so he's maybe, is he going to drop a pylon? No, it looks like he's going to continue with this. He, I'm wondering if he was thinking about dropping a pylon there. He's like, well, I'm already out here. I'm not going to be able to scout anyway. Maybe I drop a pylon at the 9 o'clock location. But he, I think he was like, nah, let's go ahead and confirm if there's a natural. But in that delay, the Dragoon actually able to get out on the field. And now Bonneth is going to have to move something out on the field to confirm whether it was a fast expansion or not. Uh, DeWalt probably, well, we'll see what he decides to do. Part of it is dependent on whether you're planning on fast expanding yourself, right? Actually, that's kind of an interesting metagame I hadn't thought about in the world of Protoss as well. One gate robo, by the way, rather than, and skipping range rather than eBay, also range upgrading for Bonneth. I'm a little bit surprised. We do have the robotic support bay behind it, however. And DeWalt is moving forward a field potentially to confirm whether there's an actual expansion or not. He, if he gets first shot on this forward Dragoon, he'll be able to confirm it. But if Bonneth is able to get in that staggered position, so Bonneth gets first shot, and that is going to send DeWalt back, and he might end up with a little bit of shield shred as a result, but should be able to make it all the way back to the main. Now, the question is, is I think in that time, range will not yet be finished. So Bonneth going to go ahead and back up here. Yeah, okay, we're solid. But quick shuttle... Robotic support bay and observatory out opposite side as well, but the observer and the reaver are going to be out a little bit earlier, just a smidge earlier for DeWalt, because he has not got, I don't think he's gone range yet. So he's going to have dragoons with range, which will be an advantage, but this is going to be a very, very fast reaver 
for DeWalt. And DeWalt looks like he wants to utilize that to go uh, Reaver, expand, and essentially pin his opponent in. And if Bonneth does the same play opposite direction, it's going to be a DeWalt build order advantage once again. Again, not a gigantic one. All looks like uh, Bonneth added a second gateway. So this is going to be a challenging... We'll see how this plays out for DeWalt. Where's that shuttle? I thought he built shuttle before Observer. I guess not. Looks like he went... I completely misread this. Quick Reaver into Expand. Now getting range. Shuttle on delay. I thought he was going shuttle before Reaver. He actually went Observer, Reaver, Observer. So this is going to be just down here to provide additional padding of defense, which means the Dragoon range is not going to be as substantial, which means he's going to be able to secure this expansion a little bit more confidently. It is double gateway and we are in that range will help overall but the question now is, is does Bonneth find that in between timing to attack this where Dragoon range is an advantage if that makes any sense this is kind of a clever play overall from DeWalt I kind of like this build order now that I think about it against this precise scenario Observer also making its way in it's going to be able to confirm all the tech range or I should say shuttle speed is that? I don't think that's going to get confirmed. He does notice that it's two gate, and that lets DeWalt know precisely what he needs to do in order to defend here. So natural expansion's up. Probe starting to cycle that direction. Range about two-thirds away from finishing. He's able to confirm that there's no natural expansion up as yet, which means he knows there's an incoming attack. He's actually stepping forward to maybe pick off the shuttle if it was at a forward position instead though it looks like the shuttle's making its way towards the main dewalt had a probe to spot it though and now this is going to be very taxing for dewalt as he needs to defend oh he's gonna he's got an exposed reaver did he throw that reaver out intentionally just to bait that shot i don't think so because that's a dead reaver now but a slight victory honestly because dewalt still holds maybe and that bought him some time, right? But this is still another exposed reaver, and having these exposed reavers against the shuttler, I'm wondering if that was calculated. This might have been a next level move, which was let's lose a reaver so we keep the worker count high, so we get range up and we're able to defend. If that was the move, that was genius. And that was a huge sacrifice to be able to do that. Dropping that pylon so he's gonna be able to scout the entire range of that attack, uh, natural expansion starting to filter in. Do we have additional gateways as of yet? No additional gateways as of yet, though. A shuttle being built from DeWalt, that is first priority. So he's got two Reavers on the low ground. So it's two Reavers versus two Reavers. Again, though, without shuttle support, which is significant, which means if those Reavers get caught on the ground, they're effectively dead. Bonneth pressing forward, getting some good shots. The shield battery helps. Reaver's taking some shots right there. Ooh, big splash hit, though. With those Reavers. Bonneth able to get some additional damage. And the two Reavers actually moving forward with that shuttle on the way. But also revealing, hey, no shuttle here. Ooh, actually manages to pick off one here. The Zealots moving up on the Reavers to create some distractionary attack. Those two Zealots, the two Zealots actually get a Reaver kill. But in the meantime, DeWalt has managed to clean up everything but a Reaver outside his natural expansion. So he's held... He's up again, 10 supply, and we're looking something similar to game one. The Dragoon moving out to engage the Reaver as it went up. That was a, a great anticipation, but now are we going to have some supply differential? Again, Bonneth having to drop. Okay, able to get a couple workers there. Bonneth actually up in workers overall. He's also getting upgraded Scarab damage, but he's... And where he was down supply, he's actually even up supply after those shots so now we're at reset count Bonneth knows it he's like okay things have evened up so let me go ahead and back up with that pressure got what he needed to get done done with that pressure applied he's tacking on two additional gateways they're slightly behind DeWalt's DeWalt slightly ahead in supply but but slightly behind in workers also upgrades in Bonneth's favor having reavers with that scarab damage can change a battle. And speaking of which, missed the drop right there. I wasn't expecting Bonneth to go in. Able to clear out some workers and Dragoons. And again, Bonneth with the overall worker lead. And again, with that Scarab damage upgrade, DeWalt actually just having to back off and watch it happen. For the moment. He's scooping up with his Reavers. 
looking for that counterattack. These Reavers are vicious. Wow, they look at the damage they've done to this Nexus in just such a short period of time. But they got to take that Nexus out. Shuttle's gone. 59 health. Oh, one more Scarab would have done it. Oh, and that would have been game. All right. Zealots and Dragoons now pressuring the natural expansion, recognizing that DeWalt may have had all of his troops in the main. DeWalt stabilizing a little bit, still behind in workers overall, and able to pick off that observer. Is he able to pick off that observer? For a second, was able to threaten that observer. DeWalt able to see the saturation at the natural expansion. Right now, supply dead even. Bonneth at an advantage, and he's been able to sneak out six gateways, so he's got a production advantage versus opponent. And if he can get some additional Reavers out, he's got that explosive damage upgrade advantage. So we got a Reaver hanging out at that natural, waiting to absorb a potential counterattack from DeWalt. DeWalt. DeWalt making his way across the field, recognizing after a lot of those kills and that delayed mining time that he's in fact behind. Slight supply edge somehow. Maybe because of a delay to get those gateways up. Now on the forward field, but he's got to be a lot more careful. Scooped up. Ooh, Bonneth able to scoop that up last second. The timing on that. What? Yeah, single Reaver shot, and they're down. These Dragoons getting absolutely melted by that Scarab upgrade. Ooh. Just absolute sledgehammer shots. I think DeWalt now recognizes, okay, I'm going up against a Scarab upgraded opponent. I don't have the Scarab upgrade myself. So let me go ahead and back out, because that is not going to be a winning scenario. Still down two gateways. He's moving up to potentially get a third, but Bonneth on the move mid-map. And he's got another shuttle attack with that Reaver that might be able to get the kill shot on this Nexus. This Nexus is very fragile, and I think this is going to be the game-winning maneuver. Bonneth diving into the main. The worker's making their way out. One shot. Oh, eight health left. Second shot. Nexus down. Now it is one base versus two, and that is certainly going to be GG. And the Reaver... Making its way out. It doesn't matter, honestly, if the shuttle dies or not. This is one base mining versus two base mining. Bonnet just has to hold. DeWalt's effectively all in right this second. And he's got to move in and make something happen. Zelt leg speed, by the way, being upgraded from Bonnet in the meantime. Getting some additional Reavers constructed. Retreating with his army out in the field. Also staging up to maybe grab that three o'clock base. Assassin Reavers right here. Man! And again, we're deep into this tournament and still seeing really creative play. All the way around. There is a world where I guess DeWalt goes for a risky double Nexus grab. He's created some interruption here. The Zealots marching up to engage the Reavers at the natural. DeWalt somehow with the worker lead. Again, it doesn't matter though because it's one base versus two base. Encroaching from two directions though. So attacking that natural expansion with the Reaver. And moving the attack troops in from the other angle. Now that these are bunched up, this is going to be great shots. And look at that target fire from DeWalt targeting that internal Dragoon to get maximum splash damage on that shot. So natural expansion potentially exposed, but now that big Reaver coming in. And you can see as the Dragoons just get absolutely obliterated by those shots, that upgrade is huge. So Bonneth, in fact, holds. And even though he has fewer workers, as soon as he resaturates, he'll still be at a superior position. Well, I take that back. The natural, the Nexus coming up for DeWalt. Did DeWalt stabilize somehow? Unbelievable. DeWalt might have stabilized with that. However, we do have a third base on the way for Bonnet, so he's going to be a Nexus up. But the fact he was able to recover a little bit, like that should have been a game-ending maneuver in any other scenario. Like, testament to, holy cow, it is the Battle of Titans right here. That's all I'm trying to say. Large group of... Uh, so right now, Bonneth just has the upgrade, the tech lead across the board. He's about to have the economic lead, but DeWalt is definitely making it troublesome for him. A zealot marching out to try to see what's going on. A handful of Dragoons making their way up. They do not have... Uh, I don't even think we have a forge down. We're still sitting on four gateways. By the way, the supply is somehow still even in the midst of this. This is... Uh, you can produce... Off six gate, well, you do have, oh, uh, double robo also might be the other effect of this. Double robo up for Bonneth, and I missed that earlier. Once this third base is up, it is going to be a major challenge for DeWalt to stay in this game. DeWalt finding the three o'clock expansion, though. Bonneth starting to shuffle troops that direction. A zealot going ahead and checking the nine o'clock to make sure that that economic advantage is capped. That was just a single pylon ahead there for DeWalt. So now... As Bonneth is attacking that pylon at the 9 o'clock location, the situation is as DeWalt's 
on paper in the game right this second because supply counts are even. But in reality, the longer this goes on, time is not in his favor. So he needs to make some very aggressive moves. The observer is finally getting cleared out. This observer is still standing tall. I guess not standing tall, floating tall. What's the equivalent for uh, an observer out in the field? We do have the reaver that can sneak up into the nexus. Maybe even splash damage the pylons down, which actually could be a big win. The worker picked off. Boneth moving up to engage. Big volley on the shuttle. And with those reavers there, DeWalt just having to back off. Slight supply lead. He's dropping some additional gateways to effectively go in all after this, but I think this might be too late. I think Bonnet's economy, he's already got the double robo. He's got some Archons in place. He's got plus one weapons. He's got six gateways himself. He's going to go up, I think, to eight gateways here because that's max production off... That's max uh, unit production off two bases and try to play it out from there. So just look for... Wave after wave after wave of assaults now here from DeWalt. The Observer getting hunted down by that Archon, the slowest way. That's almost insulting considering how low uh, how low the movement speed of Archons is. Two Weavers looking for pot shots on the front. They still do not have that upgrade. At least I, I'm, if I, it happened, I missed it. Supply lead now for Boneth. He's got a lot of territory to defend, keep in mind. So he's got a lot of space. So the shuttles with speed are going to be important. Another Weaver making its way forward. But DeWalt needs to make moves and have something happen. A Zealot running in to check out the scenario. He's going to try to move out. Extra pylons getting dropped to blockade at the 3 o'clock. And the Reaver actually from this position can probably just volley shots through those pylons. And this is now no longer a viable attack point for DeWalt. As long as that Reaver stays nearby. So DeWalt going to reposition. He's got another wave of troops coming out. Is he still going to try to grab his uh, the third behind this? Looks like he's still going to try to grab that 9 o'clock third, but still pushing in the natural to try to equalize things. That's an interesting play. Able to wipe out that Archon before it was really a factor. The Reaver is doing what damage they can. The Zealots, however, from Bonneth right there. The shuttle's gone, so these Reavers are do or die right this second. Not that that wasn't the case already. But we're seeing a complete exchange of troops. Now the reinforcements here. Bonneth... Scooping up a new Reaver. We also have a High Templar on the wings. But DeWalt calling GG, recognizing he wasn't going to be able to break through. And with the economy, at a now supply deficit, and with the economy of Bonneth kicking in, he wasn't going to be able to survive the following waves. So, still made it a game. We are now at one apiece in set three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.